We are blessed and joy, filled with joy, that you have joined us this day as we have gathered together uh, to celebrate Ash Wednesday together with Asbury and Albright United Methodist Church. Welcome. And uh, along with uh, Prairie Chapel and St. Paul's United Methodist Church. Welcome. And also Tonkawa First United Methodist Church and Northern Oklahoma College students. We are, like I said, we are all joyful and we are all excited that you have joined us this day. Um, let us join in worship. Let's join in um, just recognizing God for who he is. call to worship. This is a day for contemplation. There, there is little rejoicing this day. day. The time of learning and testing is at hand. Strengthen us and give us courage, O oh Lord. Lord. Amen. Lord, help us to know your powerful presence this night. We have come to this place shrouded in darkness, both of night and of spirit. Bring us to your healing light. Lift our souls and spirits to receive your direction. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you. 
else life is being found in you cause you make beautiful things you make beautiful things out of the dust my merciful Savior, giver of eternal grace, conqueror of sin and death, light of the world. I am the light of the world. The one who follows me will never live in darkness, but will have the light of life. You came so that I would no longer stumble in darkness, but so often temptation moves in front of your light, creating a shadow of sinfulness, a place to hide in compromised faith. And I have chosen to stand in the shadow. Lord, forgive me. Return me to the light of your truth. Return me to your truth and reclaim my heart. My heart that has saddened you and its selfishness. My heart that has denied you first love. Our hearts no longer have any joy. Our dancing has turned into mourning, for we have sinned. Lord, forgive me. Return to me my first love. I have sinned and I have stumbled. Bring me back into the light of your will. Lord, take my hands and guide me. Guide me into your truth and teach me, for you are the God who delivers me. On you I will rely all day long. Rely on you, Lord. Rely on you, because my flesh fails me. My flesh that places so much importance on the things of this world. Lord, forgive me. 
My spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak. Lord, you have told us to put to death whatever in our nature that belongs to the earth. So with the spirit of repentance, I put to death the sins of my nature. I repent in dust and ashes. For we are dust, and to dust we will return. Let me be mindful of this, and put my hope in things eternal. Hope that comes only through the blood of Christ. In whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Lord, redeem me. Redeem me as I come to you with a broken spirit. And reconcile my will to you with prayer and fasting. I turn my attention to the Lord God to implore him by prayer and requests with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. Lord, restore me. Heal my broken spirit. The sacrifices of God desires as a humble spirit. O oh God, a humble and repentant heart you will not reject. Only you can restore my soul. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Everything new, everything new, oh, 
your incredible love You make everything new I thank you God For all you've done and yet to do You make everything, everything new Oh, I thank you God I'm overwhelmed by your incredible to the time of the imposition of the ashes, let us pray. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. May these ashes be a sign of our mortality and penance, and a reminder that only by your gracious gift are we giving everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. This time of placing the ashes I pray that each of us be blessed by God in our reflections the Lord bless you and keep you Tracy Lois Calvin the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace
this charge and blessing. May God create in you a clean heart, a transformed heart, a heart that knows and seeks and loves the justice and mercy of our Lord. Amen. Amen.